Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the files required for this project, you can download it from the below link in the description. Now let's see how to create this logo reveal. Create a new composition, name it as logo animation. For this composition, I will set time duration to, 7 seconds, remaining things will be the same. Now add the logo to the timeline. Here I will scale my logo, you can scale your logo if needed. Now let's pre-compose this logo layer. Name it as logo. Select move all attribute into new composition. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid layer. This will be a noise layer. For this noise layer, in effects and preset, search for fractal noise. Add it to the noise layer. For fractal noise, change fractal noise to turbulent sharp. Select inverted, now make sure you are at start of the timeline, create keyframe for contrast and brightness. Set brightness to, minus 20. Now go at 20 frames. Change contrast to, 120. Change brightness to, 60. Change overflow to, wrap back. In transform, at start of the timeline, create keyframe for rotation. At 20 frames. Change rotation to 2 degrees. Change scale value to, 300. In subsetting, at start. Create keyframe for sub-influence. Now at 20 frames, change sub-influence to, 0. Now at start. Create keyframe for evolution. Go at 20 frames. Change evolution to, 180 degrees. You can see the preview. Now from effects and preset, search for curves. Add curves to noise layer. Now adjust the curves exactly as shown. Now for logo composition, change track mat to, luma mat noise layer. You can see the preview. Now select both layers. Pre-compose them. Name it as Reveal. Now from Project Panel, add the Circuit Media file to the timeline, place it below. Now adjust the media file position on the timeline as shown. You can see the preview. Now for this background media file, in effects and preset, search for tritone. Add it to the media composition. For midtone, I will set the color of my logo, you can set any color of your choice. Now for media layer, set opacity to, 50%. Now let's pre-compose it. Name it as circuit. Now for this circuit composition. Press S to bring up scale, set scale value to, 200%. Now press T to bring up opacity. At 1 second, create keyframe for opacity, set opacity to, 
Now at start of the timeline, change opacity to 0%. Now at 3 seconds and 15 frames. Create keyframe for opacity. At 4 seconds, change opacity to 0%. You can see the preview. For reveal composition, in effects and preset, search for Vegas. Add Vegas to reveal composition. For Vegas, in image contour, change channel to alpha. Change threshold to 9. Change tolerance to 0. Increase the segments to 250. Change blend mode to transparent. Now at 2 seconds. Create keyframe for length. Change length to 0.6. Now at start, change length to 0. Select random phase, change rotation to 160 degrees. Change width to 0.5. Change hardness to 0.3. Change end opacity to 1. You can see the preview. Now in effects and preset, search for glow, add it to the reveal composition. To change this outline for logo, you can add fill effect or, in Vegas, here you can set the color for the outline. Perfect. Now open the reveal composition. Now we will copy and paste this noise layer in logo animation composition. For this noise layer, press U to view keyframes. Now select all the end keyframes. Place them at 4 seconds as shown. Perfect, now for reveal composition. Change track mat to Luma mat noise. You can see the preview. Now select both the reveal composition and noise layer. Now create duplicate. We will place this layer at near about 28 frames. Now again create duplicate. Now place these duplicates at 2 seconds and 15 frames. For this above reveal composition, let's remove this Vegas effect. Now in effects and preset, search for fill. Add it to the reveal composition. Place the fill above the glow effect. Set the fill color. Here I will select my logo color. For glow, set glow threshold to 50. For reveal composition, press T to bring up opacity. At 3 seconds, create keyframe for opacity, set it to 50%. At start of the composition, set it to 0%. Now at 5 seconds, Let's set opacity to 10%. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now from project panel, let's add the circuit composition to the timeline. In effects and preset, search for glow, add it to the circuit composition. For glow, set glow threshold to 25%. Glow radius to 5. Change glow color to and B colors. Change color looping. Now set glow colors for A and B.
you can see the preview, perfect. For circuit, change mode to add. From the project panel, add the reveal composition to the timer line. For circuit, change track mat to alpha mat reveal. Now select both the compositions, circuit and reveal, place them at 10 frames. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of these compositions. Place them at distance of 20 frames. Now again create duplicate. Place them at 1 second. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. For this adjustment layer, in effects and preset, search for optics compensation. Add it to the adjustment layer, at 4 seconds, create keyframe for field of view. At start of the timer line, change field of view to, 100, select reverse lens distortion. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now from the project panel, add the reveal composition to the timer line. Place it at 4 seconds. Now create a new adjustment layer. Place this adjustment layer at 4 seconds. Now in effects and preset, search for camera lens blur. Add it to the adjustment layer. At 4 seconds, create keyframe for blur radius, set blur radius to, 0. Now move just 5 frames forward. Change blur radius to, 30. Now move 10 frames forward. Change blur radius to, 0. Here you can see the keyframes. Now in effects and preset, search for CC light burst 2.5, add it to the adjustment layer. At 4 seconds, create keyframe for A length. Set it to, 0. Now move 5 frames forward. Change ray length to, 30. Now at 4 seconds and 15 frames. Change ray length to, 0. Perfect. Now let's change all the compositions to 3D. Create a new camera layer. Now create a null object. Change null to 3D. Parent camera to null 1. For null, press P to bring up position, at end of the timer line, create keyframe for position. Now at start of the timer line, change position value for Z axis to 2300. Now again create a null object. Change it to 3D. Parent null 1 to null 2. For null 2, press P to bring up position. At 4 seconds, create keyframe for position. At 4 seconds and 15 frames. Reduce the position value for Z axis as shown. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease, now adjust the speed graph as shown. Final one, press P to bring up position, select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Perfect. Now let's create a new composition, name it as Light Leak. 
for light leak, create a new solid layer. Name it as noise. For noise, in effects and preset, search for fractal noise. Add it to the noise layer, for fractal noise, change fractal type to dynamic, noise type to linear. Set contrast to 250. Brightness to minus 80. In transform, change rotation to minus 1. Increase scale to 2200. Set complexity to 1. Now let's enter time expression for evolution. While pressing Alt key, click on stopwatch of evolution. Enter expression, time, 300. You can see the preview. Now for this noise layer, in effects and preset, search for curves. Add it to the noise layer. Now you need to adjust the curves as shown. You can adjust the curves for RGB to get any color of your choice. Perfect. Now for noise layer. Let's change mode to add. Now let's create duplicate of this layer. For duplicate noise layer, let's increase the scale value. Set it to 2500. Here we will change this evolution time expression to get variation for two different light leaks. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for fast box blur. Add it to the adjustment layer. For box blur, set iteration to 1. Now increase the blur radius as shown. Select repeat edge pixels. You can see the preview. Here you are free to adjust the blur value for light leak. Now we need to add this light leak media composition to the logo animation composition. For light leak composition, change mode to screen. Perfect. For light leak, we will set opacity to 50%. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect, here our digital modern logo reveal is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. See you next week with another awesome tutorial.